Hello there and welcome back. Oh dear, bad tide is approaching. It's, um, <laughs> we do have a bit of a PTSD since the last attack on our colony by this bad water monsters. But uh, okay, let's let's dive in. Let, let's see where we are with things. So right now, minus is zero. Okay, so we had a bit of a equalization over there. Um, <laughs> still, we still have eight jobs. How do we prepare for this next bad tide? I mean, our container over here, or this reservoir, seems to be complete, but for some reason I'm not so confident in our creation. What else do we have in here? So this tank isn't too far off either. I would like them to maybe focus on these areas first. It's going to take them quite a bit of time to build this up, but I just wonder if we are going to be able to... Hold on a second. This shouldn't be our priority. What happens during bad tides or, well, I guess so, yeah, bad, the bad tides, is this whole area gets flooded and everything gets destroyed. So, a couple of things we could do. I'm not really sure about this container, but I know we do want to have another water outlet here as well. So, why don't we change our priorities just a little bit. I think the, sort of the area where we want to have the water outlet or the emergency exit is going to be somewhere around here. Okay, since we need some beavers as well, why don't we do a quick little flyby and figure out where those spare beavers are right now. Uh, <laughs> we don't really need a lot of that sap right now. So you can be paused as well. Okay, we have uh, six jobs now. Water seems to be quite full, so why don't we pause another couple of tanks. Okay, um, this tank is pretty full here as well. It seems those beavers are just sitting around... So you can be released as well. Logs are going down, so I would like to open up a few few more stations soon. I don't think we'll ever be, hopefully, bumping any water from this canal anymore, so they can be deleted. Okay, so that's fine. We can probably speed up the time a little bit as well, although I don't really want to. Okay, let's have a look at the, some of the other resources. Well, planks we have quite a quite a few, and this seems to be full. Now, priorities. Oh, actually, we'd probably like to start storing some more food, so why don't we give you a slightly higher priority? Okay, then we are producing a bit of treated planks in here. Uh, everything else is paused. Okay, so now we have three spare beavers. Why don't we open up a, another station right like so? Oh, yeah, that means we are going to need dynamite, aren't we? Oh, yeah, so we can do a station over here. Uh, it's not the, not the cheapest. How much... Hmm, okay, we do have quite a few points, so that's fine. We'll probably want to... Oh, you are pretty full as well, so why don't we pause you for the time being. And this one is going to be... Hmm, <laughs> let's see, bad water. Okay, there we go. Probably the highest of priorities for you. Electricity-wise, okay, we're not too bad. Definitely not the worst. Um, <laughs> what else? Okay, planks we still have, gears we've got quite a few as well, and we I don't think we use that many right now. Oh yeah, there was some very, very lovely comments, so one of the things that I totally agree that we should implement is those advanced breeding pods, and this one's pretty interesting. So, what it says is it utilizes an advanced breeding process to produce adult beavers, so we see, it seems we're skipping the, the kit years. Eager to get back to work. Okay, nutrients are brought by haulers, the unemployed, and the workers after work. Needed nutrients are by berries and five extract as well. Well, I think we are going to need quite a bit of extract in the in the next attack on our colony. Um, right, this station is done. Okay, you guys are probably out of range, so let's uh, figure this out as well. We are probably going to do those single ones. I don't think we need those deeper ones here now, do we? No. Or maybe. Anyways, for the time being, I think these should be sufficient. We will start creating a small canal over here. And okay, 1.6 days. Why don't we skip ahead just a little bit and we'll be back as soon as the bad tide is starting. Right, so there's only 0 0.8 days left and um, I thought we'll quickly go through or over a couple of things. So when the bad tide starts, we have this anticipation that everything's going to get flooded again. So my thinking is, or goes that, um, <laughs> well this area, yeah, probably flooded, so I'm thinking, okay, 
that we don't want to have anyone working in, in this zone. I, th I think we have stocked up enough resources already to be able to survive. Yeah, I definitely don't want them approaching this area over here at all. Okay, they are going to be building... Hmm, okay, that's going to be problematic, isn't it? I shouldn't have placed all of them down during... Okay, we'll see how it goes. We'll let them build a couple more. And then I'll just pause the, the last remaining ones. And looking at this area over here as well. Once they go to sleep, I'll just go around the colony, pause all those buildings. We definitely do not want anyone working in this zone. So let's give it a couple more hours. All right, and there we go. The bad tide has now started. Um, I think we have forgotten to set up some automation over here. So when the drought starts, we're going to close it. After the drought ends 2.5, when band water starts, I think we are going to close them. And then back to 2.5. Okay, let's see. Uh, everything else should be working, right? Uh, this levy might need to be opened up as well, but we'll, we'll see. Um, <laughs> should we let them construct this? I mean, maybe we've... Um, maybe we're wrong. Maybe we should let them finish off these ones here. Okay, so... I think I forgot to explain as well, but the reason I am or was going around the colony and pausing all of those jumps, I'll have to do another quick check real quick. But uh, if this area gets flooded, where are you guys going to? Oh dear. I hope they're just like grabbing some resources from here. Oh, this might be like the haulers getting water. No, we definitely do not want to do this. Okay. That's what's going to happen, unfortunately. Uh, right, so the... Hmm, I think it's going to be smarter to do it this way. Yep, let's uh, cut the link over here. They might still be going through there. Oh yeah, they are all connected, aren't they? Okay, let's see if that helps. Hopefully the beavers will not be going into this area at all. I mean... Yeah, so all of those buildings are now paused, which hopefully means that they will stay in this area. I'll probably cut their work hours as well, because there isn't much to do. So, if all goes well, and they just chill out on this mountain this whole time, then hopefully we will limit the number of beavers that will get sick. Okay, we have a few explosives, so... Hmm... Let's have a look. Well, we're not flooding too much just yet. And who knows? I mean, maybe we're able to contain some of that bad water. It seems to be it's going or being redirected over here, which is quite nice. We are leaking a little bit over here. Yep, things are... Although this is a bit of a mixed water area right now. Things seem to be working very nicely over here. Okay, levies are going up as well. We're not going to fill them up just yet since we still have about a couple of days. No good selected. Um, I suppose you'll be fine for a little bit. Okay, a lot of unconnected buildings, but that is okay. Oh yeah, okay. It seems to be sort of working, although I have a feeling that I, I don't know why, but I just don't seem to... Trust this. Why are you guys... You're supposed to be on three, aren't you? Okay, let's see what happens. Is this gonna spill? Oh, yes, that's gonna spill all over the place. So maybe it's better if we open you up. And, I mean, we've managed to keep this area pretty, pretty dry so far. If we could please get these ones built as well, then that would be pretty amazing. Whereabouts are you going? Carries nothing. Okay, let me... Let me guess. We didn't give you a priority. That one should be a priority as well. I just want to make sure that we don't have to run anywhere. I think I'll have to take it back. It seems things are... Oh yeah, surprisingly working out. What about this area over here? You've not started to leak or overflow either. Okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm... I'm very happy about it. However, I am massively surprised as well because we had such a huge problem last time. Um, what about those trees as well? 
dies in 12 days. He, these ones are already done. Which is very, very interesting. Okay, so we still have a bit of a problem with the flow in here. In an ideal world, we wouldn't let any of this bad water through here at all. So what I'm thinking, we could build some levees over here. Climb up to this side and just fill it with like... Or maybe we don't need to fill it with anything. All we have to do is build a bit of a barrier, levee barrier over here. And some floodgates. So when the bad water starts, we just block this entrance over here. And it's going to overflow to the other side of the map. That could work pretty well. Okay, so the bad tide is finally over. It seems a couple of beavers still managed to, managed to go for a um, swim in the Red Sea. Which is unfortunate. However, let me just open up a couple of stations for you. However, as I was saying, it's way better than having like 50 of them feeling unwell and then... Yeah. Okay, so um, I think we can redirect... Oh wow, I think it's new different sound effects for the dynamites as well, which is great. Okay, let's speed up the time a little bit. So yeah, we can uh, start redirecting some of that water because I believe this is still a bit dangerous for us now, isn't it? Oh yeah, we can probably start connecting uh, some areas as well so beavers can go back to work, hopefully. Uh, another section over here. Do we want them to go up there? Probably not. Okay, we don't want to collect water here either and I think the rest of it was fine, right? I do want to get those farms back in action, so... Yeah, you guys can climb back in these ones. Okay. Um, <laughs> nothing to do in range. Okay, let's pause you for a little bit. And then uh, hopefully... Oh dear, we can't climb in here, can we? Right, not to worry. This one gets the highest of priorities. You guys try and construct another row and okay so once we get all this constructed over here we can widen the canal and it seems clean water is already making its way into that little narrow channel there too yeah I'll, I'll be completely honest i still think it might flood a little bit let's have a look it is very close but ah uh, oh well never mind it, it is what it is we'll we'll, we'll see what happens now once this river is going to be clear, hopefully it will happen soon. Have you guys opened up already? Uh, oh no, no you haven't. So there's some red water coming from that side. I mean, we could block this, but I feel that as soon as we close those gates, then we are going to flood everything else over here. So let's just allow this to flow through the area for a little bit. Right, so I was thinking we might not need to build any of those advanced breeding ports, but I'm kind of really keen to see what they what they look like so okay thousand sign science points well fine uh a bit of a waste right now let's see what it's like we'll use a few metal blocks few treated blanks as well i mean i don't think we're using those treated blanks for anything right now unless okay so you guys weren't building it i mean it's got the lowest priority so we can unlock you again and um yeah hopefully over time Within the next couple of episodes, we'll have it completed. Now, how is the farm? This seems to be, yeah, being rebuilt pretty, pretty nicely over here. I've got to say, I'm actually very surprised how this whole area didn't flood. I was, I was very certain it would. Especially when the, when the bad tide was finishing as well. And I reckon we weren't too far from destruction because, yep, that seems to be pretty, pretty close. Breeding has halted. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. Colors are amazing. We got some berries, some extract, which is right over here. I reckon we should probably store up some more extract somewhere around the zone as well. Oh, we could do actually one over here. And, okay. We're making adults. No... Yeah, I guess the future is no baby factories and we're just gonna have some adult factories. Very, very interesting indeed. I guess we'll see how it works. Well, we probably won't because by the time this one's done, they're straight in action and running around the colony. So, oh well. Okay, now next things we want to do, we might... I'm not really certain if we... Like, do we need to produce some more dynamites right now? It is a pretty slow progress. However, we also don't need to be too fast. So why don't we look at this over here? 
I'll put in a bit of a blueprint how we want to start developing things. Okay, so we're keeping it simple. As simple as we can. I think, yeah. So here we are going to need some more levees, aren't we? Okay, how big do we want to make it? Actually, we might want to change this around just a little bit. Yeah, let's build you this way instead. We are going to get get rid of these ones. Uh, yes, we do. And then the levee wall is going to go from that side. These don't need to be all levees. We don't need to be wasteful now, do we? All we need over here is a quick triple platform. a Not a single one. Double one that is the one we're after. And here we might want to climb up as well. So we're leaving this option now. Let's just speed up the time because I know it is night time. It's very difficult to see. But essentially what we want to do here, I believe if only we can get the right angles, there we go. So triple is the one that we shall build over here. But yeah, okay, there we go. That's the idea. Um, actually, never mind. That is not the idea we should have placed. Ah, glad we just realized. The idea is to climb up a few levels. Yep, that should be the idea. We'll move you over here as well. And then, <laughs> from here, we need some levees. And I think we want to be like at least one level high. Which means over here, we are going to do a few more levees. Okay, there we go. And now we're going to do those triple platforms. In the future, we might want to raise it even further. But I reckon for the, for the time being, that should be absolutely fine oh dear it seems we've let the game run for a little bit too long and there is another bad tide coming however i feel we are starting to be a bit more or better prepared for the for the future bad tide so first of all are we gonna need some more beavers i mean a couple of builders would be useful for slightly bigger projects like well it's not really a big project is it but anyways, I think beaver numbers are good. We can, uh, worst case scenario, we can probably pull something else as well. But for now, let's, um, let's see. So if this one gets built and it gets done, just to make sure that our beavers focus their efforts in one area, that mine will be paused for the time being. Hold on a second. Is everything tied already? Um, Okay. Right, so the water's not been going through here, which is unfortunate. Let's uh, fill you up one more time. Okay, and that is probably because we are sending a whole lot of water through here now, isn't it? We lock you up once again. Let's flood this area just for a little bit. This area as well. Hmm, maybe that's a bit too excessive. Let's uh, lower you to 0 0.5 for now. Yep. Plenty more water coming through now. Oh dear, we should probably start replanting. Uh, no, we want to have as many builders as we can. Seems like the water is going through here now. And our farms should be coming back online. Okay, if we want to close off this perfect little ecosystem, we should probably extend this levee wall through here. So... When we start filling this area up, this little canal might take a little bit longer. We've got a dam over here as well, so maybe, yeah, another little extension of those levee walls could, could be useful. Um, but for now, let's, uh, let, let's leave it. We'll try and keep that in mind in the future. Okay, so we've got a couple of floodgates already in place, which is fantastic. Two days left. Well, it's definitely going to leak towards this side. I guess if we prioritize the work a little bit, we might we might just see a bit of success. Okay, slightly lower priority for you. The other ones, uh, high priority. And then same over here. I believe we can still access it, can't we? Oh yeah, let's just um, fill you in like so. Alright, there you go. Ladder over here as well. And then we're going to focus, yep, on the floodgates. Once we block this from here, it seems like the water would spill into this zone, which is fine. And then quite a bit goes off the map already as well, which is fantastic. Okay, two days left. Let's see if we can have this area constructed. I don't think we're going to have a problem because resources are fine. If we 
Just a second, let's open a couple of you guys up as well. And I reckon for a, for a few days, it should be fine if we don't have any haulers, right? It's not a smart idea. I don't recommend doing that, but I reckon we'll be fine. I don't want to run around and start opening and closing individual buildings, so... So yeah, that's what we, what we shall do. Alright, two of you left. If we can have a few <laughs> levies over there. Probably a high priority for these guys. Okay, here you go. Just 1.5 days left. How about... Hmm, I don't want to increase the hours because then they won't get any sleep and food. Alright, another floodgate done. So that is great. Okay, let's let's leave you the way you are right now. We got final day. So this one should be constructed. We just need one beaver to give us a bit of a hand. And then a few levies as well. Oh, hold on. Look at this. So that's already done, which is great. Why don't we close you for a little bit? Let's see what happens. How much are we going to flood? Might not be the brightest of ideas. Probably raise you to 2.5 as well. Let's see if we can fill up this tank just a tiny bit. Same with you guys. Oh yeah, we haven't actually tested it with 2.5 yet. So let's, let's give it a try. Okay, what is great, it seems we... Oh dear, do not go in there, please. Uh, we're going to have to pause these levies, I'm afraid. If you guys could construct uh, these zones. Okay, they can still go through a host of priorities. And okay, same for you guys as well. 0 0.5 days, we're, we're actually not too far, are we? Oh yeah, and... This one's going to get constructed. We can probably unpause them. Okay, here we go. These ones now are now done as well. And I mean, yeah, you might say, hey, it might be better to put some floodgates on the sides over there. But all we need to do, once they are connected, we'll just drop it at the, at the lowest to let the, all the water through here. Okay, we probably don't want to do it right now since the bad tide is coming soon. Um, yeah, as a matter of fact, what are we raise you up again well let's see what happens i believe we can close off this one open these okay and detonate all this in here okay that's gonna be paused for for a little bit here that's closed these ones so since we're technically not letting any bad water hopefully into this area why don't we if only it would let us grab which one is okay you over here Let's see what happens. I'd like to close you off. All right, these ones are closed as well. And you're still letting bad water through. I think we might have actually done it. So once they finish this area off over here as well. Oh dear. Let's just make sure that none of those silly beavers. Okay, we should be fine. There's no reason for them to climb down here. So that's a lovely looking tank now. Uh, that's all going this way. And we can probably continue crossing over. Okay. That seems to be filling up just nicely as well. This might be the first time where we don't have to close off anything in here. I mean, like the farms and things. And we might actually be able to farm it throughout the um, <laughs> bad side. Okay, unconnected buildings. Oh yeah, those ones we've had complain for quite some time already um you guys can keep running and pumping water right same with you we don't really need to close you anymore okay that forest seems to be going up pretty nicely as well we can probably unlock you again i reckon we can be pretty uh, pretty happy with this progress over here another levy goes to place three days for the uh, for the bad tide which i believe is the longest we've seen Four days in total. Oh yeah, quite a quite a lengthy one, right? So if nothing is flooding, um, yeah, this seems pretty good as well. We're never gonna get any mangrove fruit, are we? Because um, yeah, these bad tides are becoming more and more frequent, right? So treated blanks, we've got a got a few in stock, but they seems to seem to have emptied it out. And okay, so let's, um, we do need some scrap anyways. We might want to clean this up a little bit. 
Uh, this wall, oh dear, yeah. We are done on this front here as well. So we could probably, as soon as the bad tide is over, unlock the or destroy all these walls and then have this reservoir hold precious water for us. Okay, so I think we can be pretty happy with this tiny mega engineered reservoir, which, uh, yeah, seems to be doing its job. We've got loads of bad water that's going off the map now. We can probably rearrange some of this stuff in here as well. And um, yeah, as you can see, colony is alive. We're constructing, we're harvesting things, nothing's affected. We've got this little side channel here as well. But okay, I call it a great success in this episode. I'm so happy we managed to avert a, another crisis. So we'll uh, continue beautifying this colony in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon.